this on here. Alex Dupuy is like most 15-year-old boys, except for one very special talent. <laughs> Last year, he stole the headlines during a bowling tournament for bowling a perfect 300, but that high wouldn't last long. My son came to us one day and said, I have an ulcer, which we thought was just, okay, let's just gargle with some salt water. And we kept checking on it. It never went away. When the sore on Alex's tongue never cleared up, but instead started growing, Alex's mom got concerned and took him to see the doctor. It had grown so rapidly that I just, you know, I said I really would like to have, you know, the, the tumor or whatever it was removed. Alex was taken to Children's Hospital for surgery, and here doctors removed the sore and 30% of his tongue as well as did a biopsy. Three days later, those test results came back confirming the Dupuy's worst fears. It was cancer. The word aggressive stuck out to me. The type of cancer that my son presented with was an adult cancer. It's not usually diagnosed in young children. The doctor said Alex had a rapid form of squamous cell carcinoma of the tongue. Four days later, he and his family were on a plane to MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. And through it all, Alex managed to stay positive. I felt nervous, I felt scared. And I told myself I'll be all right. In Houston, Alex would have yet another surgery before starting six weeks of intense radiation. You got the cops on us. <laughs> Dr. Paul Freelander, the chairman for Tulane's ear, nose, and throat department, says the number of young people with oral cancer is on the rise. Most of the cancers that we saw were smoking alcohol related. Right now, we've seen an increase in the number of people who've not been exposed to cigarettes and alcohol who have these cancers. And he says that's because of the human papilloma virus, or HPV. It's an orally transmitted virus that he says is easy to get. These can be translated through, uh, excuse me, transmitted through a oral sexual contact or something as innocuous as an open mouth kiss. Dr. Freelander says early detection is key. If one does have a sore in their mouth, difficulty with swallowing, hoarseness, or a neck mass that persists after two or three weeks, it's a good idea to see your local doctor. And he recommends parents consider getting their teens the HPV vaccination, uh, which doctors month, say can help prevent month. oral cancer. It's something Nancy Dupuy did with Alex and his brothers after his diagnosis. In our case, it wasn't HPV, but just the thought of oral cancer and that maybe there was something that could prevent it is just really worth it in the end. Several weeks of radiation would take its toll on Alex, but his family says it's bowling that got him through it. On the good days, Alex would bowl, and Alex would be in a little world that was just, you know, perfect. And thanks to early detection, Alex is now in remission. I always thank God I'm cancer-free.